Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Dentistry to the Point. This is Dr. Drumil Manek. So in our previous video we discussed about the pathway of pain, how the pain pathway or how the sensations are mediated through the first order, second order and the third order neurons. So next we will discuss about the various theories of pain. There are three theories of pain which are considered to be important that is the specificity theory pattern theory and the third one is the gate control theory. So now regarding the specificity theory we will start. The pain occurs when specific nauseoceptive receptors are stimulated in the periphery. Kya hai? Pain ka hoga jab koi bhi specific receptor ya specific nauseoceptive receptor ko stimulate kiya jayega in the periphery. Matlab jo bhi peripheral now endings hai that are considered to be the peripheral receptors to sense the pain. So any stimulation that will be sent or any impulse that will be sent directly to the brain through a specific nervous pathway that will cause the sensation of pain. Samaj aake hai kya keh raha hai ki aap koi bhi stimulation doge us stimulation ko brain tak pochne ke liye ek specific nervous pathway already present hai jiske wajay se pain sensation feel over that means there is some direct connection between the brain and the peripheral receptor it is a quite simple theory sirf aapko naam yaad rakhna hai that is specificity theory matlab specificity ka matlab kya any specific receptor for a specific stimulation through a specific nervous pathway which will cause the sensation of pain quite simple Next is the pattern theory. Now in pattern theory, it was given in 1894 by Goldschneider. It states that the stimulus intensity, जो भी stimulus की intensity है, and the central summation, मतलब जो भी stimulus अगर एक stimulus है तो उसके जो minor parts हैं, उस सारे stimulus को add करने के बाद, so these two are the major determinants of the पेन मतलब जो भी स्टिमुलस के आपकी इंटेंसिटी है और जो भी स्टिमुलस आप दे रहे हो उन सब को एड अप कर दोगे तो दिस टू आर द मेजर डिटरमिनेंट्स ऑफ पेन क्या होगा समेशन ऑफ सेंसरी इंपल्सेस ऑफ पर्टिकुलर पैटर्न कोई भी एक पर्टिकुलर पैटर्न के इंपल्सेस पेशेंट एक्सपीरियंस कर रहा है तो उन सारे इंपल्सेस को आप एड कर दो देन दीज विल एक्सीड अर्टन थ्रेश होल्ड जो भी ये इंपल्सेस है अगर वो इंपल्सेस एक सर्टेन थ्रेशोल्ड को क्रॉस करेंगे देन पेन इज एक्सपीरियंस क्या है बहुत सिंपल है कि जो भी समेशन होगा इंपल्सेस का जो भी इंटेंसिटी है इंपल्स की और उसके साथ साथ जितने भी इंपल्सेस एक साथ पेशेंट एक्सपीरियंस कर रहा है उन सबको आप ऐड कर दोगे तो दैट विल क्रॉस ए सर्टन थ्रेश जब एक थ्रेश क्रॉस होगा देन द पेन विल बी एक्सपीरियंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टच अ पेशेंट and also apply pressure with giving little amount of heat so this is the summation of all the impulses plus the intensity of impulses so kya hoga this will cause the sensation of pain now i hope so this is clear summations of sensory impulses jitne bhi sensory impulses hai unko add kar do of a particular pattern which will exceed a certain threshold then the pain is experienced. For example, touch plus pressure plus heat will be experienced as pain. This theory denies the existence of pain receptors. जैसे इसमें मैंने बताया था कि जो भी peripheral nerve endings हैं that are considered to be the receptors in this condition, the theory denies the existence of pain receptors. So this was about the specificity theory and the पैटर्न थियरी पैटर्न थियरी में आपको क्या रखना है कि एक पैटर्न ऑफ इंपल्सिस है जिनकी इंटेंसिटी और समेशन दोनों किया जाएगा उसके बाद एक सर्टन थ्रेश क्रॉस होगी एंड पेन विल बी एक्सपीरियंस सो दिस इज स्पेसिफिसिटी थियरी एंड पैटर्न थियरी नेक्स्ट विल डिस्कस अबाउट द गेट कंट्रोल थियरी So next, moving on to the gate control theory. So gate control theory was given by Melzack and Wall in 1965, and this theory stated that any painful stimulus can be reduced or decreased with the help of a 
एडिशन ऑफ नॉन पेनफुल स्टिमुलस क्या बताया मैंने कि कोई भी एक पेनफुल स्टिमुलस है उसको आप डिक्रीज कर सकते हो विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए नॉन पेनफुल स्टिमुलस सो दिस वॉज गिवन बाई मेलेजेक एंड वॉल इन 1965 सो नाउ द नेम इट सेल्फ से गेट कंट्रोल थियरी सो आई टेल यू इन सिंपल वर्ड मीन्स देर इज अ गेट थ्रू विच द स्टिमुलस कैन बी कंट्रोल्ड so now we'll study in detail now which is the gate and how is the stimulus controlled so firstly we'll give you like uh, i give an example of a painful stimulus that is if you hit your thumb with a hammer or something and you will feel the sensation of pain that will be really painful so in that condition if you apply pressure on your thumb or press your thumb very firmly then you will get a relief from the a little bit relief from the painful stimulus so this is what on this basis the gate control theory is stated that any painful stimulus can be reduced or decreased with the help of a non painful stimulus hitting your thumb with a hammer was a painful stimulus but applying pressure on it was a non painful stimulus through which the impulses of painful stimulus were decreased so now we'll start firstly the painful stimulus imagine that you are hitting your thumb with a hammer so all the a delta and c fibers that are the transmitting fibers which transmit the impulses to the cortex are present so these fibers carry the impulses from the site of the pain or the site of the injury from where you are experiencing the painful stimulus from there the impulses are reaching the substantia gelatinosa in the spinal cord where they are reaching they are the they are reaching in the substantia gelatinosa now after reaching the substantia gelatinosa this is the first order neuron or the primary neuron after that the impulses are again carried forward till the thalamus by the second order neuron jo bhi second order neuron hai wo impulses ko thalamus tak le jayenge aur uske baad lastly by reaching the thalamus the impulses are further being moved forward till the cortex with the help of third order neuron that is in the post central gyrus cortex mein kaha post central gyrus mein so this is the pathway of a painful stimulus starting from the anatomical site with the help of a delta and c fibers till the substantia gelatinosa in spinal cord then moving on further till the thalamus and then after relaying in thalamus they move further till the cortex so this is the first order second order and the third order neuron now this is the whole path and now if you want to stop this painful stimulus you can't stop but you can decrease or modulate this painful stimuli with the help of a non painful stimulus so the non painful stimulus is a deep touch or pressure whichever you apply on your thumb after you get hit by an hammer so by the help of deep touch or pressure the pacinian corpuscle pacinian corpuscle are the special receptors which are present in the dermis of the skin so these pacinian corpuscles get activated and they act at the place of substantia gelatinosa now this is your gate through which the impulses are control i was telling you about the gate through which the impulses can be control we'll zoom in this section and see in detail so this is your painful stimulus of first order neuron this is your second order neuron now this impulse is carried with the help of substance p and glutamate so these are the neurotransmitters which help in moving forward the impulses to the cortex so this is the painful stimulus now we have here our non painful stimulus or the non painful impulse which we are applying externally which will inhibit the transmission of painful stimulus from first order to second order neuron and which will not allow the impulse to move forward till the thalamus and then to the cortex samajh aa raha hai aapko i repeat it once ki this is the painful stimulus this is the first order neuron green color this is the second order neuron blue color and this is the whole path of painful stimulus here we have our non painful stimulus of pacing which is passing through pacinian corpuscle and reaching the substantia gelatinosa which is our gate to control this 
stimulus now due to this the impulse is not moved forward or it is inhibited with the help of other neurotransmitter that is encaphalin e n k e n k e p h a l i and encaphalin you guys don't need to remember this this is a bit of information in detail you just need to understand the gate control theory so there is a painful stimulus and there is a non painful stimulus which is inhibited at substantia gelatinosa so this is all about our gate control theory i'll revise it once painful stimulus passing with the help of a delta and c fibers reaching substantia gelatinosa which is our gate so here the first order neuron ends then moving on to the second order neuron which ends at the thalamus and then the third order neuron which ends at the cortex now this impulse can be inhibited with the help of deep touch which activates the pacinian corpuscle at and acts at substantia gelatinosa which will not help allow the further moving on of stimulus till the cerebral cortex or the post central gyrus so this was all about the gate control theory given by melezek and wall in 1965 hope you guys understood this theory it is very important if you have any doubts regarding this theory please let me know in the comment section and if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you